story you saw first on two horrible living conditions at some Northeast Houston apartments. Yeah, we showed you last night at six several families living with dangerous mold and other troubling issues. Residents told us management won't do anything about it. KPRC 2's Devin Clark is back at that property tonight. And Devin, local leaders are now getting involved in this disturbing situation. Keith Daniela, those local leaders say they are floored by those conditions that we first showed you yesterday here at the Sterling Shire Apartments Complex. So they say that they're coming here tonight to let residents know their rights and that help is on the way. It is unfathomable. Houston City Council member at large, Dr. Letitia Plummer, is taking action after disturbing images surfaced out of the Sterling Shire Apartments complex, showing residents living in moldy, pest infested apartments with faulty appliances. Our residents to live in these conditions is devastating. On top of all of that, it's in our black and brown communities, which we already have health care disparities as well. In addition to visiting the complex this evening, Dr. Plummer is in the process of writing a city ordinance called Apartment Inspection Reform, or AIR, that aims to create more protections and resources for renters. So these landlords, they have the resource. Mm. They're making a conscious choice not to do something about it. Part of the plan includes adding and training eight new city health and habitability inspectors. We have two health inspectors, only two for the entire city of Houston. And those two health inspectors take years to get back, you know, when people call for complaints. Some residents here say they've been living under sickening conditions for well over two years. Harris County Precinct 1 Commissioner Rodney Ellis also sending members of his office tonight. What I am encouraging my team to look at is what we could do in terms of putting more legal assistance into tenants' rights. And we understand that members of the Rainbow Push Coalition, as well as other civil rights and community organizations, are also going to be here tonight for that tour, which is scheduled in about 20 minutes from now. Reporting live on the Northeast Side, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.